Hey, welcome or welcome back to At Baven Library. It's your girl Lisa and today I am here to do my January TBR. I know you're probably thinking like TBR, that's not like you. You would be correct, but it's the new year, right? So I want to come in with a clean slate, try to kind of plan my content and one way to do that is by doing tbrs not to say i'm going to stick with it right you know how you start the year with your goals and um what are those called your whatever they're called um but you start the year off with goals and you're like okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and then it turns into hell in a handbasket yeah that's pretty much how this is going to go but i gotta give it the old college try right so that being said, um, this month I'm doing a black and gold theme. Um, black and gold is my aesthetic, right? It is my mood. So what better way to start off my year with a black and gold TBR? And I promise you there's rhyme and reason to everything that I'm doing here. Each one of these books I actually have a video planned for. Not to say that they will all happen in January, but one for sure that's going to happen in January is a Kennedy Ryan backlist reading. Um, so that being said, my first book that I'm going to start off with the month is Real. Um, this is actually on my 12 for 12 list. So I had a friend from Bookstagram recommend me read this. And so I'm going to kick off my year with Kennedy Ryan. So this is a forbidden romance, workplace romance, where the director has fallen in love with the main female character in his Harlem Renaissance um, biopic. So I'm interested to see what all of the hype was about. I know everyone absolutely adored this and I'm hoping that uh, I'm keeping on with Trin and enjoying Kennedy Ryan's book. Um, next on the in that Kennedy Ryan video will be um, the Kingmaker. Uh, this is actually being picked up by a traditional publisher, so this is going to the look of this is going to change. So I wanted to get a chance to read it before it was picked up. So if I like the first one in the um, All the King's Men's book, I could go in and pick up the second in the duology and the companion novel. Uh, which would be Queen Move. So if I like this one, I'll pick the other two up and I'll have a complete set. Um, next for the month of January, I am going to finally do the thing that I've been saying I'm going to do for months. Um, and I just got to do it, right? And that is Reading Restore Me by J.L. Seekers. This is absolutely not a chore, but this is something that I've been holding off because I knew I was going to love it and I was going to dive into the rest of her books, which I do have revived me on my shelf as well. But I need to start with Restore Me. And the good part about it is this just um, came out, well, they just came out with a audiobook to a company it. So this is available to me on Hoopla, which means that I will for sure be reading this in January. So I'm excited. Um, everyone has read this, has loved it. I think I will be loving it just the same. Um, the next two books or shorties. So um, I am going to continue on with the Salacious Players Club. Um, and I'm going to pick up the second in the series, which is Eyes on Me. This is voyeurism, um, stepbrother, stepsister, romance, webcam girl. So I'm interested to see um, how I feel about Garrett and Mia. Um, and then lastly, for my planned TBR, I will be reading Heartless Hero by Mary Catherine Gebhard. This is the first in the, I guess, I don't the Crown series. I don't know if it actually has a name. Uh, but this is about, this is a bodyguard romance um, and a bully romance. And so I jumped directly into Stolen Soulmates uh, and I skipped this one because it didn't necessarily intrigue me. But now I'm ready to get into my bodyguard and bully romance era. And what better way to start off than jumping back into the world uh, where I get to meet Logan. I think that's his name. Is his name Logan? 
Grayson. I get to meet Grayson um, before he was with Story. So that is going to round out my black and gold January TBR list. Let me know what you're reading in the comments below. And if you could do me a favor, um, give me a side eye emoji or eyeball emojis. You know the ones um, in the comment for eyes on me. And I'll talk to you once I make it through this list. Bye.